So for today, we're going to be looking at the Guardian Games armor set for the 2024 set. If you guys don't know, Guardian Games is currently going on. And the armor is pretty interesting. Let me know what you guys think about the armor itself. We're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and some things that I've noticed about the armor. And yeah, uh, you guys will be getting the shader video right after this video. Most likely this video will come out Saturday, which is tomorrow because I ended up taking a really long nap today. Not even a nap. Basically, I just fell asleep. Uh, my sleep schedule has been fucked up and yeah so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all remember to hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content because i do think my content is worth it considering i post quite a bit of content i haven't been doing it pa these past two weeks because i've essentially been taking a break for from destiny 2 and from the channel as well because uh oh man i'll explain it after we're done with the video because i usually like to explain some things that's happening within the channel or real life so if you guys are interested, um, stay tuned because uh, unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, I might actually have to decrease the amount of time I put on my channel. So if you guys are interested, again, wait until the end. But I appreciate you guys. Sorry for the long intro. Let's get into it. So to start off, here is the armor. I definitely think this armor is cool for all the classes. I have a few annoyances that you guys will probably pick up on, especially if you guys have been watching my channel for a while. Let's start with the hunter. I think the helmet is amazing. I like the helmet a lot, like a lot more than I thought I would. The cloak, absolutely amazing. There is a negative there, which is the like confetti at the bottom does not change color. And any confetti that you see any of the classes have will not change color. color. So the blue, pink and yellow, all of that does not change color, unfortunately. The chest piece is pretty cool. I think the arms would have been cool if it didn't have the confetti on the arms and then the Guardian Games logo on the shoulder pads. The boots are really cool. That being said, the only like look that I've made for them are like, where it was like a Lucha Libre type of look, which I've already done the class specific videos already as well. I just have to make the voiceover for that. Like, I have a lot of content right now on my like just sitting down. I have a lot of content already done. It's just I have to like edit it and make the voiceovers, which is this is the first of many. So hunters overall, like I, I like your armor set a lot. Um, be aware that the hunter logo on the chest piece, specifically on the stomach, you can change that to be either a different color or just outright take it out, which is really cool, which you guys will see in the shaders. Titans, I, I like your helmet. Like I don't hate it. I like it. Uh, chest piece is pretty cool. That being said, it does have confetti and the Guardian Games logo, which means those don't change color. The arms, I am not the biggest fan of. Like, they just they just look weird on a lot of sets. The mark is really cool. Unfortunately, it has confetti as well. I think the boots are literally the best piece. Um, they have really good glow. They have the only thing is that it shaders really weird. Other than that, it's really, really good. Uh, Warlock's helmet is really cool. I think the chest piece is really cool. Unfortunately, you do have the Guardian Games logo on the left side of the lapel or the collar. And then the left side on the arm has like just a bunch of confetti, which is very unfortunate. Even the bond is just the, th the three Guardian colors, which does not change color. So just that is immediately just, I'm never gonna use that. Um, boots are really cool. I think the arms are really cool. So yeah, classes, let me know what you guys think. I definitely don't think anyone lost. That being said, I do think there's a lot of pieces where I'm like, I'm never using this. And some pieces where I'm like, I can legit use this a lot. Like the cloak for the hunter than the helmet. I can definitely, and the chest piece to a certain extent, I can definitely use all of those in a lot of sets. The boots as well, it's just I have to be careful with what I use it with. Um, Titans, I think the chest and the mark are the only pieces where I, that, where I would actually actively ignore. And then for the warlocks, it's the chest piece, honestly. The chest piece and the bond are the only pieces that I would actively ignore. As for how it's shaders,
So for the shader, we're going to be using Cryptic Insignia because I feel like this is the best example to showcase a lot of the differences. Hunters, you guys will notice that the Hunter Insignia on the stomach is not there anymore. This is one of the shaders that actually takes it off, which is really, really good. Titans, you guys will notice there's a lot of off colors on yours, a lot, uh, specifically on the thigh armor. That's all off color for the arms, the shoulder pad, all off color, which is very unfortunate. Warlocks. There's a lot of off colors for you as well, specifically on the shoulders, the shoulder like armor that's off color, the arms off color, belt off color, a lot of the helmet as well for all the classes are off color as well. So if you're not a fan of the off color, which I know I say off color a lot, um, for those of you who don't know, each shader has a has a main color and an off color. The main color for this one for armor would be white. The off color would be that blue tinge. Um, in very rare circumstances, there is a third color. You're not gonna see it here, it's very rare, but you there is a third color. And for this one, you it's not actually some shaders have a third, some don't, if I remember correctly, but it like it shaders really well from what I'm looking at. I really like a lot of the colors that I'm looking at. It's just unfortunate that Titans are like you guys will have to fight a lot of your shadering. Warlocks, your arms are the only thing that you're gonna have to be fighting, and hunters I it's really good because a lot of the off coloring is like secondary, which is really, really good. So I really like this armor. Would I, would I like recommend it? I would recommend it only if you had like sets in mind, because other than that, this armor would just be sitting in your collections collecting dust. Because again, like, unless you really like that cloak helmet or anything of the sort, I would say just don't get it because it's rough because Bungie used to sell armor like individually so you could choose which one you wanted. I don't know if you could still do that, but if you could still do that, I definitely would just tell you to like pick pick the pieces that you want because some of these are really terrible, specifically the ones that have the Guardian game stuff aside from the cloak, terrible. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. This is the end of the video. Let me explain a few things. So first and foremost, I ended up getting another job. I have two jobs now and yeah i i will not have that much time to work on this channel because it's part time but it's 25 hours plus the other job which i probably will still be working at which means i'm just going to be tired a lot which means i'm probably just going to want to play video games um it'll give me a good excuse to actually maintain the second channel because i have not maintained it for like at least three or four months but It'll give me a good motivation to like actually keep it up because now that I'm going to be just playing games, I'm probably not going to care about like the camera. I'm probably just going to want to play and just post it up and it'll be easier in the long run for me. But for this channel, it's I'm not like like I'm not abandoning it or anything. It's just it just means that like, for example, like these videos, I could push out real fast. Um, the only reason I didn't push them out real fast is because I've been on working and my sleep schedule has been fucking horrendous so yeah expect some changes for the channel honestly i really should have posted my my patreon a while ago and my discord because uh, i really should have done that i'm just being really not lazy but like i really don't want to work on discord because like it's just so much work that I would have to put in and I don't have mods or anything. So it would just be me maintaining the discord for a while until I found people that I trust. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you guys like my, would you guys like a discord or a Patreon? Let me know in the comments below the Patreon. Like I, I still have some bonuses that I would give if you guys did give me stuff to Patreon, but it's just one of those, like, I want to, I want to make it worth it. I don't want to just get the money and be like, thanks. I want to like make it worth it for you guys. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. But I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.